Hey yo, what's going on? Today's episode, we're going to be comparing SLS versus Starship. Let's start off with, what are the two vehicles? Well, Starship is a fully reusable spacecraft. The first stage is powered by 27 Raptor engines. That's almost as powerful as the Saturn V. The upper stage, on the other hand, is only as powerful as the Falcon 9. SLS is a NASA-built rocket and is meant to take people to the moon and have a permanent base on the moon. SLS's first stage is powered by four RS-25s and the upper stage is one RL-10 vacuum engine. Now for what's the same and what is different. Well, let's start with what's the same. There are both rockets. They both have the, the capability to go to the moon. Um, that's really all they have in common. Now for what's different. Starship's first stage has 27 Raptor engines, and SLS only has 4 RS-25 engines. SLS is not reusable, Starship is reusable. Starship can take 100 people to Mars. Yeah, Mars. Not the moon, but Mars. And SLS can only take 4 people to the moon. SLS is just nothing like Starship. SLS is only 212 feet tall, and Starship, on the other hand, is way bigger at 400 feet tall. What fuels do they use and why? Starship uses methalox, aka methane and liquid oxygen, and SLS uses hydrolox, aka hydrogen and liquid oxygen. Why do they use those fuels? Well, Starship uses methane because it cannot use RP-1 for a full full stage combustion cycle engine. If you clog the injectors, plus you can't mine RP-1 on Mars, SLS has the same problem with engines. SLS uses RS-25s, and those engines can only run on hydrogen. What engines do they use? Well, Starship uses 27 Raptor engines. That would make sense. Why so much power, but I want more power in that thing. So maybe we eventually go up to 30, then we go down to 27, and then maybe we go up to 35. But they also have three sea level Raptor engines on the lower stage, three vacuum engines on the upper stage for Starship. The SLS, this is four R25s and massive solid rocket boosters on the first stage, and one, one. Yeah, that's right. One RL-10 vacuum engine on the upper stage. Which can take it to the moon. And with the block iterations, they'll have more engines. On block B, which is iteration 2, it will have four, vac four RL-10 vacuum engines. That's an up from the one RL-10 vacuum engine. So, that's it for today's episode. Link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. The link to the article version of this will be in the description down below. Peace.